Hey, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm finally getting life together, finally getting around to this video. I know you guys asked me so many times and I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Yay, finally. Today is a video on how I hack? Is that even a hack? Yeah, it's a hack. It's like an IKEA hack slash if you hate your bed frame, I'm sure this hack will work for you. It's an easy washable, removable, finagleable, interchangeable headboard. I'm doing it on the IKEA bed frame that I am so over. So, 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 so over. Pretty sure this could work for any headboard that is more than like two feet tall. I'm showing you how easy this is to do. It actually has padding, which my headboard did not have before, which was really annoying. If you try to lean back, you were just literally hitting your head on bars. So now it has giant foam on it and a fuzzy fabric for the headboard. Literally the easiest thing ever. Should have done a long time ago, but here we go now to my bedroom and I'll show you how to do it. Here's the plain headboard. Super uncomfortable if I were to try to watch TV. I would need all those pillows to make it comfortable. So this was my dilemma of how to fix this and not be so annoying. So I went on Amazon and I found foam and it comes in pretty much the size I needed for this headboard. First step, order foam on Amazon. So it's pretty much already the same size tall. This was only a couple extra inches I didn't need and it was really easy. I just drew a line of where I needed to cut it and I used scissors and I was able to cut the excess off. Second step, fur or whatever fabric makes you happy. <laughs> Can you not? Are you gonna help me fold it? Are you gonna help me sew it? No, okay, he's not helping me. So, next step, for the installing, you can either use a needle and thread or you can use safety pins. If you don't know how to sew, safety pins will work. I've had it for months and months and months waiting and procrastinating on filming this video for you guys. So I didn't want to sew it until I was filming this. Now I know you have two options, safety pins or sewing. Literally all we're using is elastic. Some safety pins, some foam, and some fabric. So if you want to sew it, I'll show you both of the options and you can choose what you want to do. We left a little bit of room on each side so I could fold it over and then you wouldn't see any foam. I left the two inches underneath and it kind of just tucks under and stays. It doesn't budge. You take the sides and you take the top and you fold it over like a nice pretty present and you can either pin it to each other or you could sew it. So if you were to pin it, just take your pins and pin it in place and it's not moving anywhere. And it's on nice and pretty. Just get your needle and thread and sew all those pieces together. It's really thick so you just kinda gotta work it in there. Taking your elastic and pinning it on, it's probably about 10 inches down. And then you can sew it or pin it however you like. Put the second elastic closer to the base of the foam. So the fur hides all the stitches, just make sure it's nice and secure, do a bunch of them, and the fur hides it all so you don't have to worry about it being cute. This has turned into a DIY do it yourself and wine time because it is now midnight and my cat will not let me get anything done. So this next step, you are gonna stretch your elastic and you're gonna have to use a pin for this, even if you're sewing it, so you can make sure it stays. And then you can remove the pin after. It'll just keep it in its place when you are trying to sew. So it's just like that. Now we are all done attaching all of this. So we have the two strips, and then the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom. will be going up and behind that and attached to the top. 
but the top part will have to be only safety pin because that makes it removable and washable. And now, dur, 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 putting it on, it's literally just like a slip cover. I'm loving this headboard hack. It's super fun, super cute, super comfortable, and it's removable. I can wash it, I can change it up, and it is super affordable. I don't have to replace my whole entire bed frame to have a cool, nice new headboard. I hope this gave you some ideas how you can zhuzh up and fix up yours. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope you loved it. Hope you have new ideas how to do a headboard for your ugly bed that you can't afford to get rid of but you want it changed like comment subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you on the next bye you may not sit on it you may sit right there big light right there that's making you look all pretty and filming okay <laughs> can you make any more noise while I'm trying to film can you what do you have to say for yourself oh now you're quiet I'm trying to film here sir the only time he's quiet when I like put him on the spot What's the next?